Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform is making it easier than ever to support Black-owned brands. When you go to walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited, you'll not only get to shop products from Black-owned brands, but also learn about founders like Janelle Stevens of Camille Rose, which specializes in products for naturally curly hair. Or the Allison Devon, founder of Teespressa. And there are many more awesome products that you have yet to discover. It's all easy to find with Walmart's Black and Unlimited platform. Join in on celebrating Black brands today and every day at Walmart. We are Black and Unlimited. Visit walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited to discover more. That's walmart.com slash Black and Unlimited. This is a Bramble Jam podcast. Me, 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 me. My name is Bran. I like the Christmas movies, yeah. My name is Bran. My name is Panda. I like the Christmas movies, yeah. My name is Panda. My name is Dan. I despise the Christmas movies. My name is Dan. And, and this, this is, is the Dex Homework Podcast. Dex Homework is this podcast. God, we're the worst. 40 people in the house say yeah. 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 What's up, y'all? Man. It's uh, Bran. It is the second episode of the day. Chances are you just listened to the nine kittens of Christmas and you're like, is there more like the Hallmark today? Yes, there's more right now. There's two episodes tomorrow, two episodes Wednesday, two episodes Thursday, and then one episode Friday. One you day. think oh, we're gone? Man. We're never gone. We're never gone. Just when you thought we mm. were leaving, we're here. We're invading into your earbot. Pot. But <laughs> earbuds. Earbuds. <laughs> Guys, uh, it is... The last, uh, it is the uh, first Monday. It's the last Monday. I was going to say it's the last day of November. What are you I just, talking about? I was going to say it's the last day of November, and then I remember it's, it's another Monday episode. Yeah, that's right. Um, today's a really big day. Bramwell Jim just released a new podcast. Yeah, Woo! Christmas morning. Christmas morning. I Every, thought it was okay. Okay. Every day, <laughs> Monday through Friday, me and Scott from Jingle Jank, we'll be doing a little advent calendar for your ears. Dude, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. So great. Uh, so head on over to christmasmorningpodcast.com to subscribe wherever you listen to podcast. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun all holiday season long. If you want more stuff to listen to, we got you covered here on the Bramble Jam. Um, Bramble Jam NBA podcast. I'm getting word is coming back. Yeah. Ooh. Dude, I've been wondering about the bubble. I know you have. I know you have. It is still <laughs> only bubble news. Just bubble news. Um, we've got um, we've got uh, uh, Tyler uh, Tyler Kennard, I believe. He's still down there in the bubble. Let's check it. Tyler, are you still there, buddy? Yeah. Hey, Tyler. You are in the NBA bubble, Orlando, Florida. You know it, B. Now, <laughs> there's... B is for Brandon. Right. It wasn't meant to be dirty. <laughs> you know it, B. I now, got you, yes. B. Now, there's bubble no... Bubble talk with B. Now, there's no... And me. Tyler. B and me. Tyler. Bubble talk. Tyler. 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 Reel me back in, B. Sometimes yeah, I, I get going. I know you do. Um, now, there's no NBA going on right now at Disney World where you are, but you've still committed to the bubble. You've still committed you to bottom dollar. You we'll have not. Back. You have not left. Have you met my friend Omicron? <laughs> no, who's Omicron? It's the new variant. <laughs> uh, how's it going? Bubbles back. B. <laughs> do you got any friends in the bubble? No. No. Sometimes it gets away from me, as you've heard. No, no. And people don't want to be near me. Now, were you in the NBA? I just need a friend, B. <laughs> were you in the NBA bubble? I, I need one friend. Can you be my one friend? I'm working B? on it, buddy. Just answer my question. When the NBA was there at Disney World, no, were I you- was in the bubble boy bubble. What does that mean? It's a, it's a bubble where we watch the movie Bubble Boy. <laughs> It's a BBB. What's that like? B. It's a bubble boy, bubble boy. <laughs> um, but now you're at Disney. Where the you NBA bubble betcha. was. Have you found Space anything? Space Mountain. <laughs> Rather rides. Yeah, but you don't go to any of the actual oh, parks. Oh, I'm in the bubble, yes. B. Now, do you, have you found anything interesting, any interesting artifacts? No, not okay. really. Thank you, Tyler. 
Merry Christmas. Are Merry we sure? Christmas. Are we sure that's just not I Benny uh, just remarketing himself? <laughs> no, his voice is way deeper no, than Benny's. Way different yeah. than Benny. Yeah, come on. Uh, I wish. That's Tyler. Can I can only miss, wish. Gosh, I miss Benny Man. so much. Thank you, he's T. Trying to manifest Benny back in the uh, Oh gosh, I wish I could manifest Benny. I think he thought saying B was worse than it was. It was fine. Like nobody took it the wrong way. <laughs> I, I don't was, know why he, he was to really concerned. Himself. He was very concerned he about it. He was very concerned. I think he doesn't want to be canceled, but I have <laughs> bad news for him. Yeah, how do we he, still have... I, are I, we I, paying I, for him, Trace? Well, <laughs> here's the situation. And can I just say something to you boys real quick, if you guys don't mind? Yeah. So, uh, you guys know... There, there's been a few reviews. Yeah, I know. Um, That's what I want to Trace. address. Uh, and somebody right. said that we were hands down the worst. Yes. Yeah. Gave us two stars. Right. Which so I appreciate. What, what I, I want to, what I. But then also said that we talked about steak a lot. Right. And then there was. There was someone doing an impression of Tracy. Which we don't do. And to which I want to say, I'd like to see you try. Dan, go. Hey, boys. What? You're the worst. Panda, go. Hey, boys. No one see, can do. There's no world. I'm Tracy. I'm my own person, B. Now that Trace, I don't, what, what did you mean by B? There? We don't need to you, get boys. Okay. What do you mean boys? Yeah, Is that what you're sure, trying out sure. for boys? Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyway, um, we got a lot of movies to get through this week, um, but you know what? It's all worth it because I'm here with my buddies eating some Universal Yum snacks. Yeah, boy. Promo oh. code Hallmark all mm -hmm. holiday season long, up to thirty dollars off. That's right. Official snack of deck to Hallmark uh, makes the entire process. Just it's we're, we, we're watching ten movies this week, so we got to eat some snacks. I yeah. Don't know, I don't know what you want from us. Yeah. Um, guys, are you ready to dive into the Christmas CEO? Uh, so yeah, ready. let's do it, please. B. Uh, Christmas CEO uh, originally aired on <laughs> on November 26, 2021, and it went a little something like this. The year is 1999. We see a couple of kiddos at a toy stand that they made themselves with uh, toys that they made themselves. It's a big, it's a big uh, uh, handmade uh, stitch. Uh, there's Chris, Chris Miss, and Joe. Uh, they're best friends. They love making toys together. And um, I think that uh, my, my guy Joe might have a crush on Chris, but who can tell? Uh, flash forward 22 years, uh, making these lovebirds in their early 30s. <laughs> and uh, Chris okay. uh, Chris owns a popular toy company Those two in Panda, am I yeah. right? <laughs> hey, okay <now. laughs> What's more believable? <laughs> Paul Green in his early 30s Or Panda in early 30s Wildly enough, it is Paul Green Even though <laughs> Panda is the one that's in his <laughs> early 30s <laughs> The problem Man. is I can't disagree with that. No, I, I, I get it, guys. I get it. Um, you know, I, you know what though? I'm a good looking man. You are. I'm a good yeah, looking yes, man. Absolutely. I'm a good Stone looking. And you're, and you're kind, too. So that's what you got that going for you too. Good word, B. <laughs> good word, B. Good word. <laughs> getting rid of Britta. <laughs> getting rid of the B. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Flash forward 22 years. Chris. I'm here if you need me, Pete. Uh, <laughs> no, Ty. Okay. Uh, Chris owns a, uh, a popular toy company, but Joe is nowhere to be found. Where is Joe at? Uh, she gets a visitor and is the CEO of a bigger toy company that tells Chris that she's retiring and wants Chris to be the new CEO of that big company. They want the companies to merge. And uh, the problem is, is that Joe... Uh, still has his name on the Articles of Incorporation, <laughs> as you do. And well, so um, he's going to have to sign off on this idea. Now, in while all this is going on, uh, she's got a lot going on in her life. She finds out that she's going to have to uh, hang out with her niece uh, all holiday season long. Uh, her niece is somewhere in between uh, 12 and 20. The, we're, we're not sure yet. <laughs> um, and so... She decides I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to Joe. She goes to talk to Joe, and Joe is like, uh, "No, I'm not gonna sign off on this idea. It's always business for you, business, business, B." And um, <laughs> and she's like, "No, please, just do this." And he's like, "I'll do it on one one condition. Um, I we are throwing a toy drive jamboree, and you need to volunteer and be a part of it." And she's like, "Fine, if you sign off on it, I will do that." 
Um, so they end up hanging out a lot. Listen, jamborees aren't going to jamboree themselves. That's true. I've always not, said that. Well, I've yeah. always said that. You they said don't. that. Yeah, so they're hanging out a lot. And the hanging out goes something like this. We're having so much fun, aren't we? Remember the way things used to be? Oh, I remember the way things used to be before you became a business bee. I'm not a business bee. I just liked business. And he's like, that's not what toys are like. Let's just take some time apart repeat the cycle uh, a few time. different times uh it's time for the big jamboree and it is just such a hit such a smash everyone's having a good time the little niece sings a song they slow dance together and things are getting serious but then he's like can't we go back to the way toys used to be and she's <laughs> like no we can't because business um, she, uh, he uh, shows her a bunch of old toys at some point, and that kind of jogs her memory about the toys that they used to make and all the fun that they used to have. Um, he finally gives an impassioned speech about how he loves her, how he's always loved her, and how he just ultimately uh, just wants her to be happy. And it's going well at first until he says, I, um, you know, I basically I loved like the way that you used to be or something like that the old the old uh, Christmas and she's like that's who I am I uh, love the business like you're in love with somebody that I'm not anymore and then they get into a big argument once again about business and he says all I wanted was for you to be happy I'll sign the thing uh, I'm not going to stand in your way of your happiness well um, she takes that to heart and at the end of the day she decides you know what I don't want to be a part of this business. Sure, they want me to be the CEO. Sure, they want our companies to explode. Sure, they want to give me a lot of money. But that's not what I want. I want to make toys for the love of the game. <laughs> so she goes to talk to Joe and uh, says that she loves him too. And they kiss big ones, big ones. Mm. Uh, flash forward one year, they have a new toy company with a toy that is number three top toy of Christmas. Whoa. Build your own dog. They kissed some more, and that, my friends, was Christmas, Christmas CEO. We did it. We did do it, everybody. Yes. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back, and we'll decide if Christmas CEO is a yes or a big CE no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Mm. Time is running out, guys. It's running out. You want those Kringles? You want those homemade hand iced Kringles from Racine, Wisconsin, the birthplace of American Kringle, as said by me, you've got four days to get them with the discount code. This is it. Brand's coming in hot with a Kringle in his mouth. That is right. Those Kringles will be shipped right to your door. The only way to get a discount on those Kringles right now from Racine Danish Kringles is to go to Kringle.com, put in the code uh, promo code Hallmark21, that's Hallmark21, and you will get 10% off your entire order of Kringles. Now's the time. If you if you wait till December 5th, it's too late. Oh, You're going to be a this sad week, boy. You better not wait. You need to get those Kringles while the getting's good and you get a discount Here's the, the thing. I know you, Jerry. You promised your family Kringle for Christmas. You, you better you better you better bring it home, Jerry. Don't disappoint your family again, Jerry. And you can they freeze well. You can get a bunch, freeze them, use that discount code and then have them all holiday season from Racine mm -hmm. Danish Kringles. Kringle.com promo code Hallmark 21. And don't forget the entire holiday season is brought mm. to you by who? Philo. Philo. Tell them more. Oh, it's it's a 25% off two months of your holiday movie hub. All the channels that have these TV Christmas movies, VH1, BET, Lifetime, Hallmark, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, GAC, Up TV, they're all on Philo in one place. The best DVR last year, year. it's a, a unlimited DVR, 25% off for two months. Right now, get all your Christmas movies in one place. Keep them on your DVR all year long. Philo.tv slash DTH. Philo.tv slash DTH. Couldn't have said it better myself. Pat. Thanks. We are back and better than ever mm -hmm. is what I've heard. Yep. Uh, we're talking Christmas CEO. Um, the movie that aired um, on Friday. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. slot. Mm, the yeah. first of the 6 p.m. I'm very interested to see how the ratings are for this weekend yep. with the double with the headers, and the, the 6, 6 and the 8. Yeah. And then uh, on Saturday, the 6, 8, and the 10 with the mm, Movies and Mysteries. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how those ratings mm. uh, come out. Uh, panel, let's start with you. Let's start with the hot take. Share exactly mm -hmm. how I feel about this movie. Christmas CEO. What do you think, pal? Yeah, I didn't hate this movie. Uh, it's... Uh, it it int kept me interested uh, for the most part. Uh, there's... Uh, I thought Paul was fine in it. I thought who who's the do you know the Marisol Nichols? I yeah, she, I liked yeah. her. She was great. Yeah. Uh, 
the plot was goofy enough. Paul's doing, you know, this thing where he seems almost like a kid uh, trying to recapture Christmas. Most of the business talk was nonsense in this oh, movie. Oh, yeah. It gosh, is yeah. just nonsensical. Uh, you know, it's it's not even going to... It, it will not end up in my top 10. Nowhere close to my top 10. But it's not the worst we've seen this year. Uh, probably middle of the pack, squarely middle for me. Um I, you know, it's one of those movies. I hate to say it, like I'm, I'm gonna have to really like remind myself what it was about, uh, in three or four months from now. I'm gonna sit there and have to really think. Uh, Christmas CEO, what was that? Just about? Just remember, her name is Christmas. Right. Yeah, that I, that's help. how I'll probably remember that. She's the Christmas. Christmas CEO. She's the Christmas. She's CEO. Christmas. She, her name yeah. is Christmas, and CEO. she's a CEO. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't hate this one, guys. Uh, I know some people in our chat weren't huge fans of it in our, our double decker chat. I, I didn't hate it. I thought it was were fun. they? They didn't like it. Yeah, in the double Pretty decker negative, chat, almost <laughs> overwhelmingly. Negative. The wow. BrambleJamPlus.com. You can chat live with other double deckers about the movie while yeah. it's going and they on. They share their real feelings. They, they do. They do not hold back. It's not just a love fest. It was not. No, pretty early on. I, I disagree. I didn't think. I didn't think it was that more. I thought it was fine. I thought it was it was it's a fun movie. I uh, I found this movie to be quite charming. In fact, uh, one I really liked. Uh, the they had a lot of uh, Christmas going on here, which I really liked. Um, and I thought the two of them were were really charming. I thought uh, Paul was uh, uh, like fun and zany. I really liked him. He kind of reminded me a little bit of myself. Um, like you know, I don't really care about business. Uh, let's just do Christmas cheer, and the rest will work itself out, type of thing. Yeah. Uh, and so I connected with that. And uh, yeah, listen, uh, there's a lot that I I would change about this movie, um, such as having the same argument over and over again. I think there was room for growth on both of their yep. ends throughout the movie, and that didn't really happen. They just finally at the end of the movie, she came down to his level is essentially what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no growth from him. Like, I am all about the Christmas fun and the rest will work itself out. I, I believe that. Yep. But also at the end of the day, there's a business to run. But I mean, you're, so, he's, that guy's 32 going on 50. Sure. You know, he, at some point, he's got to grow up. <laughs> but, but what happened was at the end of the movie, she just kind of came down to his level. And so yeah. I would have liked yeah. to see them... Uh, do a bit more compromise on like on both because yes you, th like you you are a ceo and you are running a business but it's a toy business so there is room for fun there there you should you should be excited about toy like those things are important to somebody who's running a toy company mm -hmm. and so i think there was room for compromise for both of them and i think you could have actually told a pretty uh engaging story of personal growth on both of those characters uh, we didn't really get that we just kind of got the same uh, argument over and over again but i really did like the two leads i thought they were really uh wonderful together really charming and uh so yeah i thought this movie was fine it's also not gonna break my top 10 uh but it's gonna be probably right up there with uh with nine uh, nine kittens probably for me top top end of the uh the middle pack and uh i think nine kittens good, is better for than them. this I have this mm. rated higher than nine kittens. I think it's right around and, this age and for me. Make no mistake, it's bad. It's bad. Like it's a bad movie. Um, it's not good. However, I think Marisol and Paul are really good. I think they have a really good chemistry. I I, I thought it was a it was a weirdly like fun but grown up chemistry. Like it was good. I thought those two. I felt as though they were best like childhood friends. Like I did feel that. The rest of this movie's hogwash. Like it, it, it is. It doesn't hold her up under any scrutiny. You and I, you know, all three of us kind of like to pretend that we know business a little bit, and our little bit of knowledge of that is far surpasses either of these two people in anything that they say. Um, doesn't make a lick of sense. Those two are good. The movie itself, nah, uh, just kind of there, just kind of doa. Um, doesn't really do much for me, but it wasn't as actively bad as Nine Kittens, in my opinion. I really didn't like Nine Kittens. Wow. I, I like, I didn't like I the didn't first one, and then the second one, you took out the fun performances of the first one, and you just kind of everyone was too serious. So this, both movies bad. This movie not as bad, in my opinion, but bad nonetheless. Pl plenty of bad to go around. There's a bad buffet here. Want to be clear? But Paul and Marisol, I thought, did a pretty solid job. Bad, it's a bad... It's a bad buffet, B. Bad buffet, yeah. B. That's yeah. exactly right. Tyler, um, the whole conversation at the bubble a year ago, uh -huh. was, well, over a year ago now, was the food situation. Yeah, there was a lot of... It's back and forth over the food, Brian. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, B. Ha has the food gotten better? Well, Brian, I'm here to tell you that I have been uh, busking for my food, and some nights are better than others. All from right. a busking standpoint. What do you mean you're I'm busking? I'm a busking bee. Okay. Yeah. Do you sing? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Well, you said, give us a little something. I'll do a Louis Armstrong if you can believe it. Do something. I am. Give us, give no, us thank you. Give us a little something. How much is it worth to you? Um, I don't know. Something at the restaurant. Come on, pay up, B. Fine. $100. $100? Yeah. Ooh, hot diggity dog. Give it to us. I see trees of green. Yeah. Red roses, too. Uh huh. There for you. Right. And for me. That's not the words. Yes, they are. All right, Tyler. Those are the words that I wrote. All right, you didn't write this song. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, get back to the issue at hand, which is Christmas CEO. Let's get to all the feels part of the show. We talk about what this movie gave us feels. Uh, the, the the coolest scene by far is uh, is the the montage where they're playing games and they're uh, uh, having fun in the workshop. And they do this neat thing where they pan over the present that cuts to the next scene. And they pay. I, I like that. That was a, a creative take on the montage scene. Had a lot of fun with that. Uh, that's the one. Uh, I liked um, uh, when the girl sang uh, at the at the thing. Me the, too. Sorry. Well, no, that's you go. fine. We can both do it. Go well, for it. I just, you know, I've done my fair share of singing on stage, and I can uh, recall early on, back in the day, singing uh, at the little, you know, youth services and stuff like that at the church, and feeling the nerves and hoping that it's good, and it's not really all that good, but it's also not that bad, and you're just like, man, like, people didn't boo me, and like, this kind of, I felt uh, like they did a really good job with that, like, showing the nerves, showing the relief at the end, because there is definitely some relief after you finish, and knowing that, uh, you know, it all didn't, uh, you know, go to the crapper, so I got, I got feels from it, it brought me back. Yeah, I, for me, I didn't have, like, any of that specific type of feel because i've never really been a performing uh, musician but i think in these movies we typically either get a so bad but you feel bad for them or an yeah. amazing singing performance and this was this weird like early on like her her voice starts to quiver a little bit and starts to waver and she struggles a little and then she kind of finds her footing as the song goes along and it was very true to life like i feel like it would that's how it would have gone in real life and it just gave me some warm feels to be like, hey, this this girl got it there. She conquered her fears. And early on, it sounded like it wasn't going to go well. And then she turns a corner and she really nails it at the end. So I, I, I found Nailed myself it. pulling for her as the song continued to go along. That's and right. that was really well done by, on, right. on their part. Yeah. Uh, let's take one more quick break and we'll come back and we'll get to the way what's in the what the hallmarks okay. here on. Take the hallmark. Monday edition double hitter. Double hitter. Double, 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 double hitter. Whoa. What do we hey, have whoa. here? Oh, my gosh. Dress, pant, yoga, pants. Dress, pants, pant, yoga, pants. I want to introduce... Keep dress, going. Dress, pants, yoga, pants. I want to introduce you to Beta Brand. They got the dress, pants, yoga, pants. They're the best there is. I put them on and they fit great. They're flexible for goodness sake. I love Beta Brand. Dress, pant, yoga, pants. Yoga, pants. That song uh, was written uh, by by Tyler. So okay. thank you yeah, so much, Tyler. That, that was beautiful for sending that over. Um, it wasn't a great song, but the words were true. The, the dress pant yoga pants from Beta Brand are fantastic. They fit uh, great. They're flexible. And they allow you to get the joy of the comforts that we were having early on. We were all working from home, and you could just put on your sweatpants, and you're like, man, I wish I could work in these every day. Dress pant yoga pants from Beta Brand has made that possible because they look like dress pants but have the stretch and the fit of yoga pants. There's so many different styles to choose from, from uh, straight leg to skinny to joggers, whatever. They have a huge variety of patterns as well. So however you want your pants to look, they can uh, they, they got you covered. And the machine washable. They got pockets. Oh, my gosh. I could go on and on about these dress pant yoga pants, but how about you just go check them out yourself? Uh, oh, they're going to give you 30% off of their just paint yoga pants uh, by going to betabrand.com slash deck. That is betabrand.com, B-E-T-A-B-R-A-N-D.com slash deck to get 30% off your order. This is a limited time offer, so make sure you do it. It's a wonderful Christmas gift. They're going to make you feel comfortable and confident all the time. That is betabrand.com slash deck for 30% off. Yo, Brain, yo, yo. For you. We, What's we up, got pal? a lot of double deckers watching. Mm -hmm. If you're a member of the yeah. double decker community, you can watch live. They can't believe how kind we're being to the Christmas. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. Right. Gobsmacked. And I, I want to be clear. My only response is I mean, now we did watch it at like 10 in the morning, br bright eyed and bushy tailed. And so there was that. I, I don't think it's a good movie. And I don't think any of us would ever say we want to watch it again. 
it just isn't actively bad as at least six or seven that we've seen so far, in my yeah. opinion. Like, I didn't have an anger for this movie that I did for A Christmas Treasure or Coyote I, Creek. I mean, I think I think we also need to be clear. Like, it's going to end squarely dead middle, which this year is a wasteland. Like, yeah. it's just, they're not good movies. It's just... I disagree with that. No, you liked it. You I, actively I, liked it. Yeah. I actively like this movie, and I also actively like most of the movies this year. I don't think the middle of the pack is a wasteland. I think that's false. I think this is the best slate of movies we've ever had to, from, you know, the, the yeah, bottom, most the bottom four or five are really bad, but from there up, there's a lot of really great quality movies. It is not a wasteland. I, and I'll no, go to bat for it, Panda. Well, you could go to bat for it and still be wrong and still strike out, my friend. Like, he, the reality is, like... <laughs> baseball talk baseball with Panda! Or strike out. To be <laughs> fair, I, I just looked. I've got uh, this movie, 14, and Nine Kittens, 15, and I did not do that on purpose. I've got this movie, 14, and Nine Kittens, 15, out of a total of 24 movies. So they're on the bottom half of my movie list right beside each other. Um, at this point, well, there you go. Subject to change, well, obviously. So yeah, I mean they're not as bad as I mean some of these movies at the bottom: Nantucket Noel, yeah, Coyote awful. Creek, Christmas Treasure, Christmas Together with You. Those movies are some pool, some howlers. Yeah, but give but, me this all day, every week. But this movie is better ones. than let those me, movies. Let me see where I sure. would have. Yeah. Um, yeah. While you all are considering that, I would like to set up the wait. What? part Please of the show set it up, uh, where we share exactly uh, the things in this movie that made us go wait what what confused us what made us stop and say wait what while we're watching this panda uh first of all i just want to talk about the very fact that she has never met the ceo before in her life <laughs> it is ever that she's Why? never met no. her Never she comes her. on in and she gives her the uh, the equivalent of a two minute elevator pitch. That's it. Uh, and she says, "Hey, listen, uh, I think we should merge companies. I think you should take over. What are your thoughts?" And she goes, "Yep, absolutely, let's do it. No holds barred, no reservations. No, no. hey, let me think about that's it. That's right. Let this. Yes, she did that would be like to the, the board. But the idea that you would come in and offer someone a job that'd be like the CEO of Wondery coming in here and being like, boys." We hear good things. Uh, we hear good things. We listened to your show once, and it made us laugh. Yeah. You want to run our multi-million dollar company? You want to run it? Get you want to run, run this sucker? Let's merge Bramble Jam and Wondery. Yeah. I you think guys could be CEO. Wonder what do you Jam. Think? We'll call you Wonder would, Jam. Even if that was the opportunity of a lifetime, you would still sit there and be like, I need to see some numbers or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. are you saying that? They've literally it never does not met make before. Sense. They've never met, but they've never, not on the phone, not anywhere. Yep. Has the, have these two women met in this Doesn't movie before sense. the meeting where they offer her the job barring board approval? That's the only other step that made a little bit of sense is that she had to meet with the board. But they offered her the job having never met before. What? Yeah. Come on, man. It, it, that's, it, it wasn't great. Um, I'm confused about her apartment and the shade that is thrown for her not having a, a Christmas tree. I, I understand the Christmas tree. You should set it up. But what doesn't make sense to me is she's gone out of her way to decorate her apartment already. Like there's mm -hmm. like, it's yeah, not yeah. an insignificant it amount theme, of theme for has, sure. Yeah. It's minimalist for sure. She, but she has a wreath. She has plenty of lights around her kitchen. It's not nothing. It's not like it was a sparse, like it, yeah. it was, it was minimalist, but like it didn't make sense to me that they threw that much shade on her for not putting up a Christmas tree. I, it's also baffling that she hadn't gone ahead and set up a Christmas tree. Like you went out of your way and you did all that. I just don't understand. Uh, and my final thing is, um, okay, he is a toy repair guy. Yeah, and this is uh, the toys that are brought in for him to repair are interesting. Some of them make sense to me, but there's one that does not make sense, and it is children's like Lego. They're the bulky plastic, like Duplos. Duplos. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody has brought those in for him to repair, and that my question is why. <laughs> why why who needs those repairs hey fix my duplo it's but, single piece plastic it's Go. single piece plastic can you fix it with some super glue like i there's no you, there's nothing to repair there buy a new set i do not that Man. is it is baffling that that was one of the toys to me i do not understand mm-hmm Mm -hmm. I thought all the toys were baffling. Well, yeah. most of them were There's plastic. A lot of they baffling were like Fisher Price creepy plastic toys. To yeah, it, yeah. Was, it made no sense to mm -hmm. me. Um, so they she, they uh, Facetime the, the the girl Facetimes with her parents, and she's like, "Hey, I got this performance coming. It's going to be my first performance. It's going to be on December twenty third. <laughs> Will you make it?" And the dad is like, "Let me check the calendar real quick. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing there. Where it's we're clear." 
we'll be there. And the mom says, we wouldn't miss it for the world. And I do want to make this clear. Unless there was something else on the That's calendar. Because right, you did check the then, calendar first. Then we absolutely would have missed it yeah. for literally anything in the world. If it was on the calendar, <laughs> it's on the... Uh, it's on the calendar. We there's nothing there's nothing we could do. We wouldn't miss it for anything in the world, unless it's unless it was on the calendar. Then uh, there's nothing we could do. Um, also, uh, I guess the the crowd just decided they had enough of the song <laughs> because she gets to what I guess was the end. I don't know. And they're just like, okay, let's go. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Let's, let's speed this sucker up. Let's speed this sucker up. We're good to go. Um, and then um, that's all that I got, Dan. Um, I think Paul Green is confusing fix his toys for hammers loudly <laughs> um, he is hammering the heck out of some toy race cars and i don't know what it's doing but i think he thinks that if i just get this mallet and just bang 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 bang, bang then that is <laughs> fixing something i just what is he what scientific purpose is it serving for him to just be laying waste to these toys with a wooden mallet it it, it is not accomplishing anything uh i i, I want to point out something this guy's name is still on the articles of incorporation mm -hmm. of this giant toy company that seems like a grievous error on the part of cj um could cost you i don't know 50 percent of your business that you did not you know create any paperwork that maybe <laughs> would say he no longer has any role or stake in the corporation that he helped start uh, you might want to get that fixed pronto. Does this imply that he that he still owns part of the... Like, yeah, he's been receiving money yeah, this your, whole time. Yeah. Yeah, if you're on the Articles of Incorporation, that means you still are a part of the business. Like, when someone... My like, guy had a pretty cake deal. Yeah. So he, yeah. one day he got well, sick he of the business. Money or he I just was like, he, no, I'm not dealing with your money he and said, material possessions. He said, I don't want to deal with this the business side of things anymore. And uh, she was just like, you know what? Fine, go. And for all these years, he's been getting checks. <laughs> yeah, well, a clear, if he's been getting checks, then he should just keep his mouth shut. And then he says he won't sign it. And CJ goes, or C Christmas goes, uh, Joe, I'm trying to do this the easy way without paperwork or <laughs> lawyers. If you're going to, like, you know, run a company you really want there to be paperwork and lawyers. Like you want right. that to be uh, legally binding. Like it's important that you create something that's legally binding. I'm just saying probably a good idea to not do it the easy way and maybe do it the legal way. That would help all involved. And then lastly, uh, the end of this movie, she busts into his shop. It's dark outside. It is snowing sideways outside. Like it is coming down in sheets and it's Christmas Eve. And she goes, it's going to be a white Christmas tonight. Did that need to be, did anyone need any clarification on that? I think we all could see the weather out there. We don't need anyone to like, what, who are you, who are you talking to? That's all I got. Uh, let's get to what the homework is part of show. We wonder what could have been. Maybe we haven't got some clarity questions that we still have. Panda. At one point, uh, he, he announces at the little uh, music festival thing. And I think I know the answer to this, but I would like some clarity. He says, uh, he goes, thanks uh, to the, the flying turtle doves. Yeah. Uh, I will I will tell you, this is the one time where flying turtle doves could be either one. It could be <laughs> flying, in fact, flying turtle doves, or it could be a band. I, I would like to know. It could oh, yeah. It could be uh, an act. Of, it could be a magician act. It could be a yeah. lot of different things. Oh, it could be the fly, the flying turtle doves. Flying turtle doves. Yeah, be, and I just I would love circus act for sure. To, oh, that would be fun. I didn't even think magician. There's uh there's trampled by turtles. There's uh there's a flock of seagulls. There's lots of different groups out there. <laughs> yeah. So trampled by turtles, a real group. Yeah. I didn't know that. Are they any good? Ah, uh, no, not really. They're not my jam. Yeah. What, what are they? What, what's their style? Uh, folk, I think. Really. Um, so they're at this, uh, uh, pizza arcade thing. I guess I don't really know, oh, man. uh, but there was a, uh, a reindeer arcade game where you <laughs> ride on the reindeer, kind of like the, like the cars that yeah, you yeah, do or whatever. Bike thing. And you're, I believe it's a, uh, arcade Christmas arcade game where you are one of Santa's reindeer. I don't know. Do you know what I think they did? What's that? I think they took one of the motorbike games and they dressed it as a reindeer. They might have. But I would love to play that game. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I bet you would. Uh, what's the deal with that? Is that a real game? Can somebody 
out there no that maybe worked at this movie, just send it to me. One two one one Lawrence Road, Sweet C. We'll have a fun time uh, delivering that to us. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Greenville two nine six zero seven. Thanks for giving them the zip. They Thank you. Have, well, yeah. no, they wouldn't have um, found it. I, mine is pretty straightforward. This is the most terrifying Santa Claus in the history of Santa oh, Claus. Oh, yes. terrifying. Um, and we're to believe at the end of this film that there is, he actually is a magical something that could be actually mm -hmm. Santa. This guy is bald. He has a Raleigh Fingers mustache, and he's eight feet tall, and he seems to stand a little too close to you, and he peers into the depths <laughs> of your soul. Um and it's terrifying, and I don't want to live in a world or watch a world where not only is Santa real, but he's real, and he's coming down your chimney, and he's that guy. Mm -hmm. That is terrifying. Yeah, I just need to know, like, is that Krampus? Is it Krampus? Ooh. I think it might be Krampus. I love Krampus. I just recently rewatched oh, Krampus. It's a good movie. It is a funny movie. I love Krampus. It's fun time. It's you know what? Krampus gets a bad rap. Not the movie. The, the no. The I think Krampus' character. bad rap is probably interesting. Deserved. What? So but you go for okay. It. Hold on, everybody. No, no. Hold on. We've got a five word, word debate. debate. It's the part of the show where we uh, have two different sides of a of a situation, and you have five words to debate your side. Panda, you believe that Krampus gets a bad rap. Mm -hmm. Dan, you think that Krampus's rap is in fact accurate. Yes. You have five words to defend your debate. We're going to do a coin toss. I want it backstage, so I'm going to call it in the air. Okay. Heads. Uh, ooh, it's tails. Yeah, oh, okay. You going Panda? first? You defer you to go me. first or defer? Uh, I'll go first. Okay. 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 Krampus. Listen. Had. Duchess. A. Is. Hard. Royal. Childhood. Cat. <laughs> Oh. Huh. Dan's the winner. Dang it. <laughs> Krampus gets a good rap. Yeah. Uh, we did, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, so much fun. Uh, don't forget to check out all of our... We, uh, we we put our sponsors' information in every episode, and so be sure to check those out. Support the people that support us. And let's be friends of each other. Uh, Universal Yums, Philo, our good friends at Yeah, That Greenville. So many amazing people that mm -hmm. have surrounded us, put a little hedge of protection around good us, Lord. Uh, and just uh, helped us have a wonderful holiday season, so support those uh, so those wonderful people um, on Cyber Monday. Which, which uh, is today. Which is today. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, we're back tomorrow, a little movie called An Unexpected Christmas. We mm. will see uh, what we think about that. heard a few people talking about this one. Brian. Yeah. There's been um, some scuttlebutt. Yeah. And then uh, another one tomorrow that I, I, I don't know what's after that That's, at this it point. It could be fun. Uh, it could be, gonna be fun. Uh, until then, maybe we'll the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam Podcast Network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, Thanks so much for your support. When you earn your degree online at Arizona State University, you get everything the nation's most innovative university has to offer. The same internationally recognized faculty, the same nationally ranked programs, the same degree. Learn more at asuonline.asu.edu.